Presenting, the Kesson City Public Library Information Systems Landing Page. The landing page lets the user to register account. And a login button which redirects the user to his or her account. Signing up implies that a user wants to have an account. The registration will be sent to the librarians and can be accepted later. First and foremost, let us set up things first. We will be logging an admin account by entering the credentials needed. This is the admins dashboard, the homepage of admins account. The admin has the credibility to add patrons and assign their prospective user roles. Let us add an account. The privilege of Kesson City residents include unlimited access of the library and internet services, as well as external borrowing of fiction and novel books. Once registered, the system will automatically provides a default username and password for the newly added patron. Users can change their username and passwords later. The list of the added accounts are displayed below the registration fields. The active accounts and the deactivated accounts are displayed in a tabular form. When generate button is clicked, the system will automatically generate QR code for that specific account and the admin may print the output which will become the lifetime ID of the users. It contains the generated QR code at the back of it. So this is a sample of the output. Now, we will move on to the system setup. It includes the setups for collection code, library of congress classification, dues, genre, and possible fees. Library of Congress classification system is used by most research and academic libraries. Classified from A to Z and each classification has several subclasses. Let us try adding a subclass for class A. Then click add when finished. We have successfully added a subclass for class A. Then the other tabs are for dues, genre, and fees to be configured by the admin. In this section, the admin may manipulate genres that can and can't be borrowed for filtering purposes. Fees may differ, depends on the issued penalty. The decision will be coming from the head librarian or the admin of the library. And that are the modules included in the admin's role. Now let us proceed to the librarian's account. Again, let us log in first. And this is the librarian's homepage, the dashboard. This section displays the records and summarized reports of the processes and transactions in the library. Next, we have another patron management. But the difference between this module to the module shown earlier, the available user roles to e assigned in the librarian's account are only user and a librarian. Another module is the acquisition module. The processing of the acquired and verified received materials happens in the acquisition module. There are three types of acquisition. The purchased, donation and solicitation. Each type has different required fields, for example, Purchased materials have fields for the seller's information and the cost of the material. While donation and solicit ion does t have those fields. And now, we are entering a new entry for the purchased acquisition. We can state the initial quantity of materials here and then we can add copies when we catalog those. Click add, then the book is successfully added. This is the list of pending materials. Once confirmed, the material will be added successfully to the inventory module. When we are in the inventory module, we can update the material status. Cases such as missing, destroyed, or status for disposal are the several choices for status update. In this part, we are already cataloging the materials. Meaning, 
we are now accepting this entry. When cataloging, we must indicate the ISBN of the books, we may add a copy when needed and transfer books to other branches. We had successfully added a material. Now we can update the book status. For an example, we will update the book entitled 1984. We will subject this for disposal for some valid reasons. The status displayed is now subject for disposal. When checked in the disposal module, the material that is subjected for disposal is now displayed. Let us update this again as good for borrowing purposes. This is an example printable report for inventory module. OK, so the patron was added and successfully generated a QR code for his or her ID. The scanner will prompt log status stating that the user has successfully logged in. When a user wishes to log out, the user's QR code will be scanned again but this time it is for the user to log out. The time in and time out registers to visitor module of the librarian. And now, let us execute the borrowing and returning module. There are two types of borrowing materials, internal and external borrowing. Always remember, Select a borrower first before selecting the material, the users wanted to borrow. The business rule is very simple. Users are only allowed to borrow three materials at a time. You cannot select more than three materials at a time. Returning is easy, you just have to click the corresponding return button of the borrowed material for you to update the book availability if the specific book was already returned. Here, a user can reserve a material. In this tab, user should select first which type of borrowing it will be. If it's either internal or external borrowing. Reminder, you cannot reserve an item if there is only one stock left available in the inventory. This is an example. Again, this is the disposal module where the librarian verifies and validates the criteria for disposing an item. Those are the modules assigned to the librarian. In Kesson Public Library, there are several sections. It is efficient for the librarians to adopt automated processes. Lastly, this is the visitor monitoring section, wherein the librarian can easily identify the time in and time out of the users. The time in and time out are based on the time the users scan their QR code when logging in and logging out. So this is the user's portal. Input username and password. They can view the details of the book found in Kesson Public Library. The homepage features a search engine for book availability. If a book is available, 
then the user can reserve it. However, if the system says only one item left, it means that item is not available for reservation. And that is the user's portal. Users can search book availability and at the same time they can reserve an item ahead. And can save some books for them to easily reserve them if they want to. Thank you for watching Kesson City Publi Library Information System.